Welcome to my channel. Back with another movie recap. This is a drama, crime and romance genre movie. The movie has been nominated for Oscar for Best Performance by Actress, Best Writing and Best Achievement in Music in 2007. The film has also won 15 awards and nominated 74 times in different film festivals from 2007 to 2010. The movie has 7.4 IMDb rating. The name of the movie is Notes on a Scandal and release year is 2006. I hope you enjoy it. And as quick reminder this video contains spoilers. Judy Dench's character, Barbara Covet, is a history teacher in a London public school. Barbara is a lonesome and needy elderly woman whose sole, intimate relationship is the one she has with herself through her diaries. Barbara is attracted to the fresh, younger instructor Sheba Hart, Kate Blanchett, and thinks she may be the one. After learning about Sheba's romance, Barbara encounters her. The student in question is named Stephen Connolly, Andrew Simpson. Barbara tells Sheba that she has no plans of notifying the institution's authorities as long as they break up before Christmas so that Sheba may spend time with her family. But Sheba continues her romance with Stephen, and Barbara draws her closer with emotional taunts until she finally ends it. Barbara's manipulation and emotional abuse of Sheba over the course of several months causes her to feel torn between her family and Barbara. Sheba's hubby Richard yells in rage that Sheba's co-worker has become a clear nuisance and that his partner is being controlled by Barbara when Barbara's cat passes away. Barbara, feeling abandoned and resentful, exacts her vengeance by telling a co-worker of Sheba's that she is having a sexual relationship with Stephen. The other educator tells Stephen's mum about the playground rumor. Mrs. Connolly visits Sheba at her house and assaults her. After that, Sheba and Richard get into a heated argument. In her narration, Barbara admits that she is pleased with their argument since it serves Barbara's original objective of having Sheba seek solace with her. Sheba's relationship ends, her bond with her kids is ruined, and she loses her job after the press and the school administrators find out about her affair on the following day. After Barbara denies knowing about the connection with a colleague, the principal fires her and presents her with a replica of the restraining order filed against her. Sheba moves into Barbara's home under the false assumption that Stephen told his mum about the affair. However, after discovering Barbara's diary, Sheba realizes that it was actually Barbara who released the details of the relationship due to the rather sexual feelings Barbara appears to have toward her. Barbara comes home to find an irate Sheba waiting for her after a round of buying goods. Barbara claims she has helped her by ending their unhappy relationship. Sheba maintains that Barbara had no affection for her and only used her for her private benefit in their ongoing verbal and physical altercation. Sheba dashes outside with Barbara's diary, where she is met by a swarm of media members and photojournalists. She yells at them in a delusional manner, I'm here, but is swarmed by journalists and cameras before Barbara comes to save her. Emotionally drained, Sheba gently admits to Barbara that she was the one who suggested they become friends since she respected her. Barbara states she desires far more than just a friend, which may be taken to mean that she also desires a romantic partner. Sheba goes back to live with her family. Richard is the one who opens the door. Can you forgive me? Sheba asks her partner in her mind. Please let me in. Richard gives her the go-ahead after some thoughtful deliberation. The last scene has Barbara encountering a younger lady who is flipping through an article about the Sheba Hart scandal after learning that Sheba has been imprisoned to 10 months. Barbara claims to have met Sheba in the past but then clarifies that their acquaintance was superficial. Barbara swiftly introduces herself and the other lady also introduces herself herself as Annabelle. They carry on their conversation. Barbara says she wants to go see a play, but she really needs a good friend. That was recap of Notes on a Scandal. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the recap, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to not miss videos like this.